we want to talk about rules of engagement today. So what we're trying to address is how do we as believers engage with the spiritual realm so that we can bring change or effect change in the natural realm. Four main rules of engagement for a believer. So the first most important thing, first rule of engagement is always engage the natural world on the basis of the cross, the cross. The main thing about the Bible is the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross of Jesus is the basis on which you and I engage from the spiritual into the natural, the cross of Jesus. The cross of Jesus is central to God's redemptive work uh, for man for people. Without the cross, we will never be, we would never have been redeemed. But the cross is everything. What Jesus Christ did for us on the cross is everything. God did not withhold his only son, but gave him up freely for us all. And therefore, with him, he will also freely give us all things. So through the cross, God has provided for everything. So when we engage with anything in the natural, we first of all are doing it on the basis of the finished work of the cross of Jesus Christ. The second rule of engagement for us with the spiritual world is submission to God. Submission to God, like we mentioned last time, Hebrews 12 tells us that we must come in subjection to the Father of spirits. Submission to God. We come into this place of yieldedness, of consecration, of dedication unto God. Now, submission is so important because when we submit to God, we are saying, God, I'm giving you permission to work in my life. Like we said in the very beginning, God will not override our will. In the normal way of things, God has created each one of us as free moral beings, free, uh, with a free will. So submission is you and me willingly coming to a place and saying, God, I'm yielding my will to your will. That, us, that is us doing it willingly. That's why it's so powerful, it's so important that us submitting ourselves to God. The third rule of engagement, which I want to talk about and many of us are, are familiar with, is our faith in God. You see, there are many things that are uh, 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 of, of importance in the Christian life, uh, uh, in our everyday life. But uh, if you ask me one thing that's really important and what we see Jesus emphasizing in his ministry is faith in God. When people came to him and they came to him for healing, and they came to him for deliverance from demonic powers, uh, and they came to him for, for, for different needs, one thing, and only one thing, he asked of them, do you believe that I'm able to do this? I mean, do you believe, do you have faith in God? And we see this throughout the ministry of Jesus. He taught faith and he encouraged people to have faith in God. So that's the third thing. As believers, we must walk by faith in God. We must learn, we must make the effort on what, what does it mean to have faith in God? And I come down to the last rule of engagement, number four, and it is the words we speak. The words we speak. You know, this is the way God works. God is a spiritual being. When he wanted to make or create whatever he did, the Bible says God did just one thing. He spoke. So the Word of God was a carrier of God's design, of God's power, of God's creative ability. And that's what the Bible, book of Hebrews says, the Word of God's alive and full of power. Words are very important when we want to engage the spiritual realm in the natural realm. And God designed us that way. He created you and me as spiritual beings. That means you and I can now operate out of the spiritual realm. And He gave us the ability to speak words and he designed words to be powerful. Uh, Proverbs 18, 20 says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. So we must understand our words are very powerful. Speak the word of God. Your words are powerful. So use your words to your advantage, not to your own destruction. Use your words to your own blessing, 
not to your own cursing. Use words, speak the word of God over that matter, over that situation.